Gaming 101. This is the Divogram for this week. It's not every day you come asking for the two of us, Barbados. Did something happen? Well, there is something I would like to consult with you. I was looking to add some new options to Young Master's stress relief repertoire. Would you happen to have any suggestions? Levi is the best person to ask about that. Games. Gaming. <laughs> yep, if you're looking for fun diversions, then I'm your demon. Lord Diablo's been really into games lately, right? That seems like a solid tactic. How about some card games for when he's got company? And puzzle games for when he doesn't? The ones I've been making lately just don't have great gameplay. They have a whole bunch of backstory, too. Such as... There's Jigsaw Wyverns, okay, where you've got to solve puzzles to raise the dragons that you hatch. Dice and Devils has you roll, a, roll to defeat a super strong demon lord. That one's all the rage right now. And then there's... Y you have more? Oh, and the newest Devil Dance Battles is definitely a must play. But if you're looking for something a little more lighthearted, you can't go wrong with Devil Crossing. Animal Crossing. Thank you, that's quite enough. However, to be perfectly honest... You don't know which one to pick? How could he? No one would ever be able to pick just one from this list of absolute masterpieces. Is that so? What I had been hoping for was something that could be played without much preparation or prior knowledge. Oh, I know! Cursed charades! One person acts out a subject, and everyone else has to guess what it is. Whoever gets it gets a point. You keep switching out the actor, and the person who ends up with the most points is the winner. Acting, you say? Come on, let's go to my room. You'll get it once you've played it. We had to move because Lucifer and the others will be home soon, and you don't want to embarrass yourself. And they'd definitely complain if we were playing in the common room. Is it a rather boisterous game? <laughs> You'll see. Okay, let's play a quick round, quick demonstration round of cursed charades. First, you write down what you'll be acting out on a card. But you lay face down until someone gets it right. Alright, yeah. I'm going for it. <laughs> Mom on! It's Lucifer! <laughs> Go ahead, try and guess. That had to have to be... Lucifer after singing Mammon's latest bill. <laughs> Bingo! Way to go! Which part of that suggested the bill specifically? Ah, oh, no, you caught the bit where I pretended to slam it on the disc, right? And if Lucifer streamed Mammon up nine times out of ten, it's because of his spending habits. I see. Having the subject be so unexpectedly specific was quite amusing. I know, right? Being able to pick literally anything that's is what makes this game so popular. There's a bunch of beginner level topics though, so you might want to lead off with those instead. It'll be interesting to see Barbados acting out, since he hardly... He hardly leaves his stiff composure. Which are... I mean, imitating an animal is pretty standard. You can act like you're playing an instrument, or doing some kind of sport. And there's the whole bunch of food you could pretend to be eating or making, too. Oh, and impersonating characters from anime and games always gets people fired up! Don't you think Lord Diablo pretending to be a magical girl would be a hoot? <laughs> I'd love to see that. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah, I thought so. Would you happen to have any other suggestions besides cursed charades? Well, all that talk about magical girls reminded me of a video game called Little Witch Chess. 
The more matches you win, the more your mini witches closing and personalities change. So there is a nurturing element to this game. Exactly! I love that kind of thing. Um, let's see. Which shelf did I leave it on again? Ah, there it is! I haven't been playing it much lately, so you can have it. Hi, thank you. The young master rather enjoys chess, so I imagine this would be relatively easy for him to play. So the evolutions are based on how you win the matches, so it's pretty hard to get to it's pretty hard to get to 100% completion. Definitely the E pawn and the D pawn are going to be <laughs> taking a long time to get closing. Like there's this rainbow colored cinderay which who's so stupidly rare. I don't even know what conditions you have to fulfill to get her to show up. I was one step away, you know, but no, she never bothered to grace me with her presence, which I guess just makes her all snub and no love. Unless she didn't want to make an appearance for me, specifically? Please calm yourself down, Leviathan. I know, I should see if there's anything new on that game strategy site. Barbados, do you want me to send you the link? No, that is quite alright. What about the production notes from the development team? Why would he need that? Those won't be necessary either. Seriously? But bonding with your fellow gamers through convoluted strategies posted online is important, you know? And the creators of the games are my heroes! In that no one has created any idea what the heck they were planning to when they created this mystery and also... If you would excuse me, I really must be on my way. Huh? You're good to go? Yes, thank you. Your assistance today was invaluable. Anna, you didn't really need to go out of your way to see me out, so I do appreciate the trouble. <laughs> Levi sure likes the Rambo, huh? He gets very passionate about his things. Indeed he does. Leviathan always seems to be enjoying himself whenever he discusses games. Well then, please give my regards to Leviathan. It would be nice if we could gather everyone to play games together another day. Bye, Barbados.